morning guys. In the past 24 hours, I have been told I look like Jojo Siwa and I've also been asked if I go to the local high school. So apparently I'm 16. I hope I get my license soon. Now, if you're wondering where I've been for the past, I guess, week, it's because um, I have emotional trauma. And I know I laugh about things like that because I try to make light of things because I never want you guys to feel worried because things come and go. I may be at lows sometimes, but then again, like in a week, I'm just gonna be having a great time again because life is stupid and life is like a roller coaster and ups and downs, right? So basically, the other day, I was driving and a semi truck with a clown driving basically tried to run me off the road or get me to pull over. Not really sure his intentions here. Not sure if he was a sex trafficker, a murderer, a rapist, um, all of the above. I don't know, or a prankster, like I don't know. Um, I really doubt it was a prank thing just because it was so um, serious and extreme. Um, <laughs> in this little home county of mine, we have a Facebook page basically where everyone in the county is a member of it and you talk and you know it's supposed to be for like helpful reasons you know so a woman posted something on this page and said that three bikers followed her and it was pretty intense and crazy and before she posted this about two days prior I had almost been I don't even know I'll get to that in a minute um, but on the interstate um, Interstate 5, which runs directly through California, Oregon, all that stuff. It's a very large interstate. It goes, like, everywhere. So, I mean, things can happen. I live not where I work. Let's just say that. I live about 20 miles from where I work. So, I either have to take the freeway completely or I can take a back road, um, Highway 96, and get to the freeway and I always usually choose Highway 96 to get to the freeway. So when you get to the freeway you have to go on this on-ramp by the rest area. So I get on the on-ramp and I am obviously going to get in the slow lane because when you get on the on-ramp and you go on to the freeway you're usually in the slow lane, right? Like. So there was a truck driver, a semi-truck behind me and he gets over to the fast lane because courtesy you know that's just usually what people do if they are and there was no other cars around at the time so he was completely able to do that safely I did not cut him off we were both going appropriate speeds everything was safe normal I didn't think anything out I was just like what a nice person for like getting over for me like he could have made me like slow down and wait for him because sometimes truck drivers in this area do that like they're not very courteous so here I am thinking finally a courteous citizen he proceeds to just get behind me. Okay, normal, right? Truck driver's driving the slow lane, that's normal. But he gets behind me and he starts flashing his lights. And at that point, I'm like, is something wrong with my car? Because I recently got a new Jeep and like things are different. So I don't know if I'd fill a flat tire or not, but like I'm, I assume I would, you know? Maybe someone could get butt injections on the back of my car. I don't know. I literally only had like four miles to get to the exit I take to get to my house because if you're ever going to pull over pull over where it's public don't pull over like on the side of the road especially when there's no cars around because we love when there's no witnesses for my potential murder or kidnapping so he's flashing his lights and then he starts honking and keep in mind a truck driver like when they honk their horn a semi truck doesn't have a beep beep it has a honk honk okay so that's very nerve wracking when you're in a car no not today so I speed up and then he realizes that I'm not gonna pull over. So he gets over in the fast lane. Keep in mind there's no cars around at this time. I don't know where everyone on I-5 was at this point, but they were not here. So that's awesome. And, and he passes me, and as he's passing me, his passenger window, I notice is rolled down in my peripheral, but I am driving a vehicle, so I'm not gonna just like, oh, hey, what's up? I'm not gonna do that, so I keep driving. And he gets in front of me and slows down to about 35 miles an hour. And I'm just like, are you serious? This is a safety hazard at this point. So I'm like, okay, this guy is crazy or something. Like, I'm just going to pass him because he doesn't know how to drive a semi-truck, apparently. Keep in mind, I'm 
not thinking at this point to look at his license plate. Also, I'm driving a vehicle, so it's like I can't really like jot it down anywhere. And I don't have, I have two brain cells, so me trying to remember a license plate, I don't even know my license plate. How am I supposed to remember his and then call 911 about it? Okay, um, I did call 911 though. That's a side note. So I pass him, and this time I decide to look because I see his hands are waving out the window. I'm like, maybe what could go what is going on so i look and this bitch looks like something from american horror story cult if you've ever seen that remember 2016 when there was all the clowns well it's back apparently because here we go it starts again okay love it love that for all of us it's back it must be like an election season thing and at this point there's about four cars there's a couple cars in front of me my exit's almost coming up so now I am in the slow lane, I run back over in front of him from passing him, and he decides that he's not happy with this. So he gets back into the fast lane and tries to get to the side of me while he's honking, flashing his lights, waving his clown arms out the window, and holding up about four cars in traffic because he's going about 45 miles an hour to try to slow me down. He's screaming out the window, I don't know. So I just pull off the freeway and I call 911 because if he's doing this to me I'm probably not the only one he's doing this to he's probably terrifying a bunch of people so I call 911 and I tell this girl the story the dispatcher she is shook she goes a clown what do you mean I was like literally I was looking in my rearview mirror and I saw this clown fixing his orange clown wig hair so that's what my days have been like. So now I'm not, I don't necessarily have a phobia of clowns because I never really had that. I don't, I don't really care that much, but I do have a phobia of like murderers, sex traffickers, kidnappers in clown masks. At I-5 right there, it is directly next to the Klamath River. The Klamath River may not be that deep right there, but it is a river. So he could have ran me off into the river. He's a semi truck. I'm a Jeep, like they're obviously bigger. That's fun. I don't know if it's a group of pranksters. I don't know if it's an American Horror Story cult. I don't know. Try not to travel alone and please don't pull over for people. Thank you. Amen. Can I just end this like a prayer? Do you wanna be? Truly like me?